What is the difference between an embedded systems engineer and an embedded software engineer? This is probably one of the most common questions I have received on this YouTube channel. And there's only one way to find out. You gotta watch this video. I mean, I guess you could just Google it, but here you are watching this awesome video. My name is Grady Alec. I'm an embedded software engineer. Now let's get started. This comparison is something I've learned and come to understand over a few years working in industry. But as a disclaimer, the definition of these two areas of engineering can vary from company to company. So feel free to add more details in the comment section below to make it more relevant for people watching this video. Embedded system engineers focus on the big picture of the overall system during its whole life cycle. It is common for them to communicate with various engineering leaders leads and customers or even the sales teams. Whereas embedded software engineer focuses on the software product and usually is focused internally on that specific team. Embedded system engineers are concerned with all aspects of the system development, including hardware, software, manufacturing and process engineering. Even though the system engineer focuses on the overall system, it is also pretty common for them to be involved directly with the hardware or software designs, especially in smaller companies where there is no dedicated person for each of these positions. Embedded software engineer typically focuses merely on this embedded software development, infrastructure, or anything else that they need to do to accomplish their task within firmware or software development. As I've mentioned in my previous videos, depending on the person and the company, embedded software engineers can be involved directly with some hardware design to some extent. Embedded system engineers typically take marketing and customer requirements and make them into system level discipline requirements. In this case, the embedded software engineer would be taking those requirements and looking at how it impacts the embedded software and what requirements need to be modified or created for the software itself. For example, the customer wants to transfer data to their phone app, so the system engineer creates requirements around it to add the Bluetooth interface onto the product. This would translate over to the electrical engineer needing to add a Bluetooth chip on the board. Embedded software engineer would write the software to communicate with the phone itself, and the software engineer would create a phone app to essentially communicate with that product. Obviously, this is very simplified, but each of these subsections of areas of like mechanical engineering, electrical, software, and so on, will have their own requirements of how things need to work and how they need to interact with the whole system. Honestly, I can give you all these comparisons about these positions, but as I mentioned earlier, every company does things a bit different. If you are looking for a job, I highly recommend you read through the descriptions of those positions to actually understand what your responsibilities will be. This way, you don't have to assume what that position is about, unless they literally give you no details about the position. It's really hard to say that like, Oh, if you have a title and then a system engineer, this is what you're always going to be doing. No, it, it varies. Like in some companies, you might be working as a complete system engineer, but other companies, you might be working as a totally like a electrical engineer or hardware engineer under that same title. So it's really important that you go through those position descriptions and to really understand what that position is about. Thank you so much everyone for watching this video. Make sure you hit the like button, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Other than that, I'm out of here. Bye!